always feel like I'm never gonna be good enough. Today I feel like I really need to relax and I don't know how to do that. I stayed up late last night trying to work on getting skatecrush.com up and ready to go because the website has just been a total disaster up until, you know, even now. So I started to get that together and try to figure out how I'm gonna have all of my art put onto like bags and shirts and stuff and just be able to like make cool things that like I would want to wear. So I was like up really late last night doing that and then I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, I just did not have any energy. <laughs> like it happens so often. I just wake up and I'm like, wow, I suck at life. Man, why can't I get it together? Why can't I figure this out? Why can't I make this work? My video posted today, I switched around the thumbnail and title because I panicked. I was like, it wasn't good enough. And it might not be. I don't know. But I think it's more better. It's better now. I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, how am I going to relax? I need to relax. I tried to take a nap. And then I like almost fell asleep. And then like I like did one of those. <laughs> and woke up and I was like, oh my god. I need to get ready for the day. Like leave the house. And I was like, what am I going to do? I was like, I wish I could go to the beach. It's a little chilly here though. It's 61, which now sounds like complaining because if I was at home, it would be like 30 degrees or less or snowing or just like the most dreary type of day. And here it's sunny, like blue skies, but it's just a little chilly. So I was like, okay, I'll go to the park and I'll take my iPad so I can draw to learn so far because it's been a month that I've been traveling on my own. I've learned a lot in that month so far. So I am once again gonna be the most awkward person in this town and we are gonna walk around the park. We're at Bird Island Park today and I'm gonna walk around and let's talk about what I have learned so far. Solo traveling for roller skating and trying to escape my hometown and become a better person and become just better at life. Figure life out. That is quite the task. But let's talk about what I've learned. The first thing I've learned is that I don't know that I will ever feel like I am meeting expectations. Like, I don't think I can live up to my family's expectations. I don't think I can live up to society's expectations. And this is a constant weight that weighs me down. And I always feel like I'm never going to be good enough. And I realized that that might never go away because I thought that coming here, I would be like, I'm separating myself from everything. Even though I'm away, I still feel like I'm not good enough. I don't know if I will ever feel like I'm good enough. Maybe if I was more successful, I would feel good enough. So maybe that's the key. It's not separating yourself from society or everybody that you know. It might be actually becoming good enough. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm working on that. Or I might never feel like I'm good enough. Either one of those, I'm not sure, but it's not just separating yourself because I still feel like I suck at life just farther away from everybody. The next thing that I learned is that even if you've looked at a place on the map for years and years, you're still gonna be surprised when you get there <laughs> what it's like. For years, I thought that Florida was warm and I could just lay out on the beach all year round well, I was wrong. It's not all of Florida. That's just Southern Florida. I had to put on a jacket because I'm cold because I'm in Northern Florida. I feel better than where I was temperature wise. And I feel like if I had been here like all year round and all the other months were nice, that this wouldn't be such a big deal to me. But because I came from someplace where it was really cold the rest of the year, I came here and it was still a little bit cold and I'm like, uh. 
I need to go farther south. The next thing that I learned is just stay in the part of town that you want to be in. Because I rented my Airbnb across town and it takes me 40 minutes to get there and then 40 minutes to get back every time I want to do something. And it really makes me like reconsider doing the thing. But that's why I came here was to do that thing, which is like go to the beach or like explore the city. But it takes me 40 minutes to do it and I'm like, oh man, that's such like a waste of time. I should be working on something instead. And so sometimes I just stay at my Airbnb instead and just work, but I want to be able to do both. So basically it's where you are staying matters a lot. And one of the most important things I learned is that people matter. I really wish I had a friend that was like with me right now, traveling with me. I think it would be way more fun if I had somebody to travel with. Even though like I'm definitely like an introvert and I don't care that much about spending like being with people all the time and stuff. I wish I had like a good group of friends here and I think that would make it so fun. Like I think your group of people really makes the place that you live. But I also think you could build that almost anywhere that you are. It just takes time and being able to find the people that you want to hang out with. Like I want to find a cool group of roller skating girls and probably like a group of like fitness girls too to hang out with because then we would all like do the same things. We'd like to roller skate and do fitness and I just think that would be so fun. But while I'm traveling alone, I feel like I can't make friends here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be here permanently. And the last of the top five things that I've learned so far is sometimes you just need a reset period. And this is something that one of the guys that I really liked told me. And I'm like, yes, it's okay to have a reset time. Like, take some time, travel, be alone, or with like a small group of people. And I was actually researching this, and there were three things that you could do to heal yourself. Was to do like a repetitive activity that's like physical, like walking, hiking was a really good example. Or you could journal, or you could go to therapy, or you could do all three of them. Taking like a trip alone is like one of those things that you can do to like heal yourself because you have more time to yourself but i like totally ruin it because i like focus on doing things and trying to get things done and starting projects people just walk by so basically i'm still trying to heal myself and figure things out and this is my reset period. I'm gonna make it as long as I need because I have a lot of healing to do. So that was my top five things. And now I'm just gonna try and walk peacefully by myself and think about life and solving problems. And I still have something stuck to my butt. Pine needle. friend. to the beach and I should have been a little bit more conscious about where I parked because now we have activated running mode. Luckily I was carrying my shoes so now I'm a jogger who just happens to be looking for her car but not obviously because I don't want people to know that I was not smart enough to look where I parked in my car. <laughs> I found it. There it is. It's right back there and there was the beach street that I went down. I love hitting this bridge at sunset. Definitely the lowest I've ever been on gas. Very risky driving tonight. I was at 11.947 gallons 
uh, that I put into my car. So I think that means that I was down to 0 0.06 gallons, if I did the math on that right. Which is like so close. I had 15 miles left on here. I've never been that close before. But I was like looking at the GPS and it was like, you have 10 miles left. And on my car it said, it was like, you have 20 miles of gas left. So I was like, I was like getting it close. <laughs> Working on something cute for a shirt. I think this would be really cute embroidered on the corner, like in the pocket area of a shirt. I think that's how I'd want to wear it. I think the flowers turned out really well. Working on throwing together a healthy meal. This is going to be like Asian style chicken with pineapple. Let's see how it goes. So I chopped up all the chicken and I chopped up all the mushrooms and the pineapple chunks already came chopped up. And so I poured the whole can of that in there with the juice. It was 100% um, pineapple juice. And now I'm adding soy sauce and I added coleslaw mix. And now we are going to bake at 350 for however long it takes. Which is basically my rule for anything. If I'm gonna cook something, it always goes in at 350 and it's just, until it's done or until I have forgotten about it and then the house starts to smell a little bit like burning food and then I'm like time to go time to get it it's done I try not to do that though I did end up setting a timer but only on the second dry let's see if it's okay oh oh hot all done turned out okay it could use more flavor I forgot to put on makeup but yeah, and I also forgot to take a video of this yesterday. Now that it's all done, it's all right. It could use more flavor. The pineapple, I feel like it lost all of its flavor. The best part is actually the mushrooms. So one of the things that I've been doing lately to become a better skater is like tracking my macros, making sure eating healthier and trying not to eat pizza and I think it's actually working a little bit like I think I'm starting to like get some like ab definition a little bit here I'll show you I think I'm starting to look better and I'll be able to skate better because fitness helps <laughs> driving up the coast and I found the most perfect beach. It's so beautiful. Can't even believe it. <laughs> I'm testing out a new workflow of editing. So we're editing on the iPad tonight because it was running so slow on my laptop. It just did not work. So for some reason it's working really well on here. I don't understand, but it's going pretty well and we'll have a new video up by Saturday.